Hello, I'm Isabel Sanford. And for 12 seasons, I played Louise on the Jeffersons. Like most entertainers, my performance depends a lot on my voice. You're probably asking yourself right now, how did she get such a smooth, sexy sound out of that fro? Well, the secret is these. Wheezies. <laughs> Guaranteed to make your voice sound its absolute best. How did they do it? By using only the finest of natural ingredients. Retin, broken glass, carpet tax, pit gravel, and a hint of cherry. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Bob? Throat trouble? Yeah, it's been bothering me for three days. Yeah. Try a wheezy. <laughs> <coughs> Wheezies take a little getting used to at first. <laughs> kind of like Mr. Bentley's face. <laughs> what was up with that? <coughs> How do you feel now, Bob? <coughs> like my throat is bleeding. <coughs> But I sound terrific. Of course you do. You've got the wheezies. Can I have one of those too, lady? Oh, aren't you cute? But aren't you a little young for a wheezy? Please. Oh, what the hell? There you go. <laughs> wheezies are for the whole family. Now, repeat after me. George. George. Now you. Florence. Florence. <laughs> now, one time together. Tom. Helen. Tom. Helen. Helen. Lionel. Lionel. Ralph. Ralph. Mm -hmm. Wheezies. Now available in Cherry. Tar and new sad paper. school. Why don't you make up your mind, my brother? But you know, man, they all had awesome food taste, man. <laughs> all the little sweet honeys, man, they're awesome, man. Oh, wee! My brother, sometimes I don't think you have a brain. Well, you know, I'll take that. <laughs> oh, my God, oh, my God. What are you two doing here? You should have 
graduated years ago. <laughs> that we must stay in school if our people will ever truly be free. You know, besides that, I'm getting my master's degree in Bootang. <laughs> you know that two-thirds of today's college students do not practice safe sex? That 73% of sexually transmitted diseases are spread by 11% of the population 92% of the time? And 9 out of 10 people don't even know this show is still on the air. Do you know that part of the academic survey recommend try that for patients who chew gum? <laughs> was using hairspray, man. <laughs> man, that stuff is destroying our atmosphere, man. I ain't lying. And until we protect the ozone, our people will never truly be free. <laughs> and another thing, what's with you ladies in shoe shopping, man? I mean, how many pairs of shoes do y'all need? I'm talking about all types of damn shoes, man. Got them packed all up in the closet, man. Shoes be going, hey, man, why you got to packed all up in this closet for, man? Even the shoes trying to get away from your big old foot. <laughs> but more importantly, please rent my video, necessary ones. <laughs> Video be sitting in the rental store going, hey man, ain't nobody written me, man. Get me off the damn shelf, man. I may have to open for Luther again if this keeps up. It's my sister. It's my sister. This is my sister, Sister Cindy. Hey, sister. Uh, uh, sister Cindy, my sisters, my sisters, my sister, Sister Cindy. <laughs> Well, I guess I have to find something to protest. And I'm on my way to the laundry mat because until I can rid my clothes of filth and stubborn grease stains, our people will never truly be free. <laughs> you said that, my brother. And I'm off to get my damn job back on the Apollo. <laughs> Why? Thank you, Paul. After two weeks in intensive care, Hector Ramirez is reported to be in stable condition. He was found on La Tijera Boulevard after a collision in his Ford Festiva in front of El Dorito. Senor Ramirez had just consumed two extra crispy burritos, three margaritas, and una poil quesadilla con queso. Stop! Why is it that reporters try to get ethnic when they report a story about Latinos? Why don't they do this with other groups? Thank you, Lisa. Today at police headquarters, Captain Kevin McGillicotty and Sergeant Sean McCarthy announced their retirement from the police department. Afterwards, they celebrated it. Oh, Sean, is he's full. And I uh, had a few pints of McDougal's Hill. Oh, Lisa. An elderly woman witnessed a robbery at Der Wiener Schnitzel. The criminals dressed in lederhosen and eating sauerkraut yelled aloud, Gesundheit, as they hopped into their 1976 Volkswagen and drove away. We have a very special guest DJ on this week's show. He's one of the toughest, bravest guys I know. And later on in the show, he's going to do one of the most death defying stunts ever attempted. He's on location right here on the Fox lot, and he's high atop the world's tallest DJ platform. Please welcome Super Dave Osborne. Thank you, Chris. I can't tell you what an honor it is to be on the show. All right, let's not waste any more time. Come on, girls, let's bite it. 
What's wrong? That's kick it. All right, let's kick it. <laughs> Established 17 years ago by actor Charles Bronson, the Make a Death Wish Foundation is dedicated to making children's dreams come true. With the help of Charles Bronson, anything is possible. Wow, Froggy Land Amusement Park. This is going to be fun. Not so fast, little guy. It cost $35 getting here. <laughs> I don't have $35. Hey, pun scum. Here's a 45. You can keep the change. How about giving this kid a break? Hey, mister, you wouldn't shoot Freddy the Frog, would you? Of course not. <laughs> Take that, you won't face lily pad sucking pad pole molesting Kermit wannabe. <laughs> hey, kid. Let's go see what kind of service we can get with a smile and a gun. I just want to be in there, Edward, son. I just want to be in there. Now, look here. Get there as you come down to this now. You go out there and you make the field go. So we wait the big guy. Get out there. Can I kick the ball, Mr. Bronson? I'd like to see someone try to stop you. <laughs> hey, Jock Brett, how about giving the little kid his wish? Are you out of your mind, son? This is the championship game. This is the biggest game of my life. You think I'm a little eight-year-old kid going there and beat that up? Yeah. Take that, you whistle-blowing, Gatorade-sucking, watching the boys in the shower too long tonight. <laughs> Pick a wannabe. Hey, kid, don't worry about the defense. I got them covered. Okay, girls, hit it. Rah, rah, Smith and Wesson. Rah, rah, Smith and Wesson. At the Charles Bronson Foundation, a child's wish is somebody else's headache. probably want to know about the plane, huh? No. He wants to fly it. <laughs> hey! This is fun, Mr. Bronson. Is everything okay in here? Hey, it's time I get a wish, too. Okay, you peanut pushing, luggage losing, waking me up when I don't need a pillow, little white body bimbo. Take it easy, kid. There could be some turbulence. So please give to the Charles Bronson Make a Death Wish Foundation and give till it hurts before he hurts you. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. We're only seconds away from one of the most incredible stunts ever attempted. Now remember, Super Dave Osborne is a professional, so kids, don't try this at home. Take it away, Super Dave! Thank you very much, David, and once again, uh, I'm thrilled to be on Living Color. I love your show. Uh, what I was going to do tonight, ladies and gentlemen, was a stunt that was never attempted before in the history of stuntdom. It was a three and a half triple loop with a layout on a target in the middle of a bag from 30 feet. Unfortunately, we have uh, bad weather conditions. The wind is coming up. So I'm still going to do a jump, but I'm going to adjust it a little bit. I'm still going to jump to a target on the bag, but I'm going to do a full swan dive. 
it should look beautiful, so you should put a tape in your machine and not miss it. Now, if you pan down, Terry, you'll see the target on the bag. I've had it put on the corner of the bag just to make the stunt a little more difficult. Again, this is a piece of cake for Super Dave Osborne, but I did move the target over a little to make it more challenging. Now, I have promised the people in living color, if I don't go directly into the middle of the target, I will donate my full salary, which is a lot of money, to their favorite charity. However, if I do go into the middle of the target, they must double my salary and half the money will go to my favorite charity, the underprivileged stunt kids of Manitoba, Canada. So it should be very exciting. And as an added incentive, the people of Living Living Color have thrown in a bonus. If I hit the middle of the target, I get a date with the favorite fly girl of my choice. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I want you to focus on this, and I promise you I'm going directly into the yellow. My hands won't even touch the red. Here we go. All right, hello, Ben. Here I come. Up, oh, Ben. I missed it. <laughs> I think I broke my spleen. Well, of course you are, Super Dave. Is there anything we can do for you? Well, look, since I'm not getting any money for this show, can I have a memento, something? Uh, well, let me see what I can do, Super Dave. Uh, listen, guys, why don't we give Super Dave the turntable? The turntable? Sure, no problem. Forget it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Super Dave? Tell the fly girl to forget it. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, is this is this the dog show here? Why, yes, sir, it certainly is. Now, if you could please just take this up. Hey, he, he's a bit taken by Duke, and he a beaut, ain't he? But look at that Duke running like the dog. Uh, sir, is there something wrong with your dog? Well, you just as boy, ain't you? I've been John Brown no, running like no, a chicken. Sir, a I am not. Uh -uh. Yes, y'all, boy, you done got big. I remember when you wasn't no bigger than a tick on a possum's ass. <laughs> But look at you now, boy. I remember you drowned in that creek on the 4th of July, but you look good now. Ladies and gentlemen, the competition is about to begin. Everyone take your places, please. <laughs> he, he'll now. He'll, he'll do. He'll. He'll do. He'll. Staring at him ain't gonna make him yours. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Duke is getting a little hot. You best watch your leg. Popping fresh. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Easy, Duke, now. Let the little ugly bitch go first. Aldo is male. Well, you can't tell by looking at him. <laughs> My, what a marvelous animal. Oh, thank you. He's a purebred. And what kind is yours, sir? Oh, well, mine is more like a gingerbread. He just lay still. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful, shiny food. Lay still like a cookie. Look at that, boy. <laughs> so your dog is... Well, you Tippy Wilson, ain't you? Boy, I bet John Brown running like no, a ticket. No, I'm not, on... sir. Yes, he is, boy. You could please I remember this... when you was on Johnson's farm and that wheat thrasher cut your head clean off. <laughs> but your head grew in real good. Your ears is balancing everything, boy. Look at you, Bobby John Brown, running like a ski. I'm sorry, down. sir, but you're going to have to leave. Whoa, whoa, do, whoa, do, he'll do, he'll do. Really, boy, look at that stanky Steve. What? No. You stanky? Yes, you are, boy. I can smell you, boy, like a bag of clams. Look at you, boy. Bobby John Brown, boy. I remember when they drenched him in alcohol, put a firecracker in his butt, took him to a bridge, and threw him off the bridge. He fell. He hit his head on the rock, bust his head okay. wide open, and then Thank juice you. was coming out his head like right. like fire water. And then they picked him up. He All right. Like and now there you go, bro. You're in the competition. I told you, dude. We gonna get. We gonna win this one, man. <laughs> Does Aldo do any tricks? Do say. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at that boy, I've been John Brown running. Well, can 
and Duke do this. Come on, Ella. Come on. Oh. Up, 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 up. Oh, hell, that ain't nothing. You want to see somebody get on up the stairs. Look at that. Run that, dude. Look at that. Come on up there, dude. There you go. Run that, dude. Look at that. Up. Up. There you go, dude. I'm not sure, but I think he cheated. Cheated? Ain't nobody cheating. You just jealous because Duke is better than your dog. That's a, Duke can even do impression. You want to see Duke do an impression? Here, go watch me impersonate. Duke do Lassie. What's it? What'd you say, Lassie? T Timmy stuck in the mine. It's a coal mine or, or, or is it an oil mine? Gas leak or methanol? Well, which way did he go? <laughs> That's a trick. He's oh, a little hell, dancer. That ain't Come on, Duke, man. We got to show our stuff. That, look at that boy running. Ski that running like a... There you go, boy. They're kissing him. <laughs> well, you know, he's been eating all day. He can't eat all the time. Sir, why don't you just leave now? You don't stand a chance of winning. Honestly. What you mean we ain't got a chance, sir? Huh? What you mean we ain't got a chance? Duke got a chance as anybody else. That's what they told him at the clinic. When they said he had rabies, he got a chance. Rabies? Oh, I don't know. Calm down, dude. Calm down, dude. Calm down, dude. Why be John Brown? Look like everybody done left. I guess that means we win, dude. We win when you did good. Thank you. Look at this. Look at Proud of you, Duke, son. You did good, son. I love you like you's my own. I know you hear me. Hi, Mungu. This is my partner, Arthur. Yeah. Yeah. Arthur. Tonight we got Naughty by Nature off of Tommy Boy Records performing. Hip hop hooray! This is the brand new single off the 1993 album entitled Hip Hop Hooray. So check it out. Hip hop hooray!
Who is the shoes they can't sub to us? Some Guineas, girl, I'm 